Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is part two of my sewing room makeover video. Um, yeah, we need to talk about our patterns because I have a lot of them. Not nearly as much as I have fabric, but I do have quite a bit. So currently my pattern organization is like halfway, so-so, you know? Um, it's not great, but I've been doing some research and I know it can make it better. And luckily for me, I have actually a dedicated space which I can put for my patterns. My current pattern situation at the moment is I never really know what patterns I have. And because of that, I've ended up buying patterns more than once. Um, and that's not good. That's not good for anyone. Like, why, why would you buy it more than once unless you actually had to? Um, so I would like to organize my patterns in a way where I always know what I have. I can choose it and find it pretty quickly without having to like pull loads of patterns out and it's easy to store. So I currently have like a storage system, which is one of those plastic rolly drawer things and that's filled up so quickly. So basically I need a way of storing my patterns so that it's just like easy and quick to select. Right now, I don't have a ton of space to do this in because I don't really want the extra clutter that having like extra things will do. But what I can do is take out something and replace it with something else that might work better. So I did do a little bit of research. I had a look on YouTube. I've looked online of ways of like storing your patterns and whatever. And I found that the way that Mimi G stores her patterns is actually a really, really good way. And I think that is what we are gonna do for here. So if you haven't watched her video, I will link it below. But if you want a quick recap, this is what you need to do. First of all, she takes out all the sleeves of her pattern. So what she does is she will get her pattern and she will take out the instructions and the pattern and have the sleeves separate. All of her sleeves go into these plastic folders like so, and they will be categorized in a file of whatever the category of clothing is. So these are like pajamas, so this will be like lounge and nightwear. And I might have one just for underwear, I will have another one for dresses, I'll have another one for tops, trousers, every single category, I will have a separate file for it. And you'll see the front bits like this. So when you put it in, you'll have a catalog like you would if you go to a fabric store and you can just rifle through and find what you need. For the actual pattern and the instructions, they go in a manila envelope. Now these, like you can pretty much find at any like, um, like home stationery store. I picked these ones up off Amazon. In fact, everything I have, I picked up from Amazon. I didn't want to go out and get everything individually. I just wanted it all to be sent to me. So you put your pattern and your instructions inside one of these. And then what you want to do is just label the pattern name and the pattern number. And then this goes in a storage box. Um, and the storage box, the way that Mimi G does it, she categorizes everything. She goes by pattern company and then she goes by number. So like, like you would in a fabric store, you have pattern company and then you have the number. It makes everything really, really easy to find. So she will label it there and then she'll make sure that you don't like, don't stick it down because you might use it often. And when you're finished with the pattern, you just put it back exactly where you found it. So that seemed like a really straightforward thing. I have a lot of empty boxes now since I took away all of the fabric from them. So I can store all these patterns and put them in my cupboard so it's out of sight, label them. And then when I do want to make a pattern, I can just look through the file and I can peruse like I'm in a fabric store and then I can shop my stash like I'm in a fabric store. And I think the whole experience would just be a lot better. So that's what we're gonna do. That is what we're gonna do. Before I get started and give you the longest time lapse ever known to man, I will quickly go through the things that you will need if you guys wanna have a go as well. So you're gonna want a lever arch file. You can get a normal A4 file, but these lever arch ones are a lot better because they open quite wide and you can fit quite a bit in there before it gets too uh, thick to close. And um, yeah, and they're really, quite sturdy. I got these pack of 10 from Amazon in all these really nice pastel colors. They're like real cute. So I will leave the link below if you want to know um, where I got these from. I came up with about eight different categories of things that I would want to be separate. So this came in singles or it came in a pack of 10. So it just made sense to just get the 10. The next thing I got with these manila envelopes, um, this is 
size C5. So if you're looking online, I don't know what the US equivalent is, maybe that's the same in both countries, but in the UK, if you're looking for C5 manila envelopes, and there's so many different ones, try to get the ones that are like peel and stick, because if you have the ones that are already sticky, then when you close it, you'll have to keep reopening it, whereas this, you just, you just leave it like this and it's absolutely fine. So the box that I got was a box of 500. I know that's a lot, but it was either that or buy them in the 50s or in the hundreds. And I just figured that I'm gonna be getting more and more patterns. That is something I can buy in bulk and just always have it in the back. So that's what we're gonna do. These you can get pretty much anywhere in any office place. You can get the punch pockets, the plastic pockets that you put in folders. You'll need quite a bit of them to put all your front sleeves in. Um, and then the last thing you need, it's your patterns. So I've got like a bunch of patterns here and I'm gonna start going through all the categories and hopefully we will have a nice system going on. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully we'll have a nice system going on. All right, so these are all ready to go. As you can see, they've been labeled up. So we've got your bags and accessories, coats, jackets, cardigans, swimwear, underwear, gym wear, active wear was too big to fit on there. This one's wardrobe and we've got the others. So what I'm gonna do now is start piling up my patterns in the right categories and then we'll start taking them out and putting them into these envelopes. Okay, so this place looks like a mess. Bear with me, just just stay with me. I have got all my patterns, I pulled them out of all the drawers and everything, and I have laid them in piles depending on what they are. So I've already got all my uh, folders set up, which I'm gonna place here. And what I've been doing off camera is starting to separate them. So I've already done the swimwear and underwear. So if you have a look, I now can have, I have all the, uh, covers in here and then in this box down here I have all the envelopes so that's where I'm storing them for the moment and I'm going to do that to everything and then we're going to sort through this and put it in um, number order and buy pattern company so I've got a couple of boxes for that but what we need to do is basically finish this that, that's basically it the biggest pile that I have so far is dresses apparently buy a lot of dresses but like I don't wear a lot of dresses so you know might have to address that at some point there's a lot of stuff in here that I haven't made but I want to make so I think next year I'm, I'm gonna be a dress wearer yeah also I've got quite a few top patterns but I've only made like three of like the 50 that I have so um yeah we're gonna make a lot more tops like so my normal daily attire like when I'm at home if it's not gym wear like this and it's like jeans and a t-shirt or jeans and some sort of top but i keep wearing the same things over and over again so i've already vowed to myself that next year i'm gonna make some jeans um i've attempted to make jeans maybe four times and uh it was like the fourth time was the only time i actually finished a pair but i don't wear them so i've got the dawn jeans pattern and i've also got the um the lander pant from uh true bias and those are the kinds of like trousers that i want so i'm going to try those two next year i'm also going to attempt to make at least one of every top that is in here because they're all tops that i would wear but for some reason i'm not making them so yeah yeah next year we're going to be making a lot of stuff but the good thing about the tops is that they're because they're tops shorter patterns so that they'll be done quicker unless they're like really really intricate but i don't really think so anyway enough chatting for now let's get through all of these piles so we can start putting it away because this place looks way messier than i intended it to be and that's not the point of the makeover it's not to make it messy it's to make it clean okay let's go another one Right, so it's been a few days and 
we are finally, finally finishing off this pattern project. A few things were thrown at me last minute um, over like the last two weeks. So I haven't really had time to like finish what I'm doing. So like I've been, I've been kind of like navigating my sewing room with like the patterns half done. Hopefully now I've got a little bit of time and we can finish this up and then I can start using the room exactly as I intended. So I do realize that this is only for my paper patterns. I haven't figured out a system just yet for my uh, PDF patterns especially the ones that I've already printed. I do have them on pattern hooks. Um, what I think I might do, because I've got a few hooks at the back of my door, I might just put a few more hooks and just like hook more on because at the moment there's not enough for the patterns that I do have. So uh, I think that will probably be the system for the PDF patterns and the ones that I've created myself. They can just hang it at the back of my door. But for the paper patterns that I have, this is the system. So behind me, I have all of my patterns that I've put into these boxes. They're not in any kind of order. I literally just shoved them in there so that I can get on with the project that I needed to do beforehand, which hopefully you will see soon because I've been filming that too. I've been doing a lot of filming guys. Like this is a lot, a lot, like a lot, a lot. Anyway, so um, got these boxes here. Uh, I filled up two, but there is a lot like hanging out at the bottom. So I did get a third one. Unfortunately, they didn't have any clear ones. So this one's pink um so i got a third box and these are going to be my pattern boxes what i'm going to do instead of having a separate box for each brand of pattern i am going to start with one brand and do it numerically until that finishes and then start with the next brand and i'm going to use these like a4 dividers just to write the name so that when you look like a filing system you can see where vogue starts you can see where mccall starts you can see where quick so all of that where they all start and you know that from behind that it will go on by the numbers. So that is what we are gonna go do now. It's gonna take a little while, but that's what we're gonna do. You can see in this corner over here, I already have my folders done and finished. That was probably the last thing you saw me doing, uh, putting all the folders in there. I've got another set of dividers for the categories that have like lots of different things like the coats, jackets, and cardigans is one. Um, yeah, so that's what these dividers for. So we've got a lot of dividing to do. I'm gonna go with the patterns first. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is put it in this cupboard here. This cupboard right here, which is one half of my wardrobe, uh, used to have like my little pattern thing, which I could only fit maybe half my patterns in. So what I'm going to do is be able to stack these up three by three and these jackets are going into another cupboard in my other room where my wardrobe is so that is where they're going to be stored and i'm going to use my trusty label maker to just label what is in each box uh whether it's like all the vogues are in this one or it's like vogue to mccall's or whatever that's what i'm going to label so this should be a pretty good way of cataloging everything until i get a bigger space not really supposed to tell you now but we are going to be moving next year moving house which means i'm going to have a bigger space to be able to sew in one of the main criteria while we were looking for this new house is that um i needed like a proper like i wanted a really large space if i can just dedicated to sewing and like storage so that is like an exciting project that'll be coming up near the end of next year so we've got to wait a little while for that but between now and then this should work just fine another one Okay, so actually it didn't take as long as I thought it might. So this is basically what it looks at the moment. I think I might have to get new thingies because I literally just scribbled it on, but like for the moment it works, okay? So, sorry about the shadow. So we've got Vogue and then it goes all numerical like this. Then it goes on to the simplicity and it does the exact same. Simplicity carries on to here. I have a lot of simplicity. Crikey. Then it goes on to McCall's, all of this, all of that, all of this, and then on to New Look, which is just that bit there. And then here I've just got the ones that I've got like 
little stuff. This is like vintage patterns that my grandma left me. We've got like, I think I've got another Quixie that's coming in the post. Got like, I don't know, 12 Butterwicks. We've got some Birder Styles. And these are just all the indie companies together. Got a paper cut pattern. We've got some named in there. Uh, some Tilly and the Buttons. Deer and Doe. All sorts of stuff in there. And then on my door, I've got these hanging uh, patterns. And then I've got a whole bunch of patterns under there that I need to put on hooks and go up there. But then that's it. All of my patterns are done. All of them are done. And that's it. So apart from having to hang up the last of the patterns on my door, these three boxes contain all of my patterns, all categorized, all in number order. It's amazing. So now I can go through one of my files, open it up, be like, yeah, this is what I do. Yeah, McCall's one, two, three, four. And then I go, and it's so easy to find. I'm very happy. So I'm gonna put these in my cupboard now and that is gonna be it for this video. Uh, hopefully this was interesting for you. If you guys are looking for a way to um, put your patterns away, if you've got some storage boxes and a little bit of space uh, on like a bookshelf for some files, I think this is a really good way. This also feels a lot like when you actually go and buy patterns in the store, you look through the catalog and then you find the pattern. So I kind of just wanted to recreate the same thing. So hopefully this system will work out well for me. I'll let you guys know in a couple of weeks. If it's not working for me, we need to find something else, then we will. But I think, I think this is going to work. So I'm quite excited about it. Okay, guys, that is it's video done. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. As always, if you enjoyed this video, then hit that like button, send me a comment. Let me know how you guys are storing your patterns because I'm sure there are other ways, maybe even better ways I would love to know. And I will of course keep you guys posted on how this goes on for me. Um, and if you haven't already, then subscribe. And if you've already subscribed, then hit that notification bell so you can know when I am gonna post another video and there'll be more coming up soon. And uh, yeah, that's it guys. I will see you guys in the next video.